Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new show this week. We have got SWA's European Invasion. Tonight we're in Frankfurt, Germany celebrating WXW. And here we go then, kicking things off tonight with a six-man tag. We will see the members of Imperium. Uh, we've got Marfel Bafal. I'm never sure I'd pronounce that, but um, formerly known as Axel Dietl Jr. I think it's Axel, no. I'm getting confused between him and the footballer, who's Axel Witzel. I don't know, something like that in uh, WXW anyway. Uh, Alexander Wolf, and of course we've got Fabian Eichner. And they're going up against British Strong Style. Uh, of course, Mustache Mountains, Trent Seven, and Tyler Bate, and Pete Dunn. So an interesting match to start things off. We've got three matches for you here this evening. The plan is going to be, right, so we're going to start doing these as seven days worth now. So this is going to be the first show that's going to be seven days long, but three matches each day. So our plan is, is to have five shows from different arenas, from different places. And then the final two nights will be like our specials. So we're going to have a main event every single night. And in that main event, we're going to showcase some talent from that company or from that area. And then the winners of all those matches will come together on night number six in a number one contendership match. And then the winner of that, of course, will get Chris Jericho for the SW Championship on the final night. We'll do the same with Women's Championship as well. We'll throw a hardcore match together. Women's Tag Team Championship match as well. Where have all the stuff going? Don't you worry about that. We've got lots of good plans. We're WXW tonight. Tomorrow we're going to be live from Progress Wrestling. On Wednesday we're going to be uh, in Ireland for St. Patrick's Day. Hence the European Invasion. I thought it was a good time to have the European Invasion when we have uh, St. Patrick's Day. So a big match this one. Uh, both of these teams, of course, involved in the Dusty Classic. Alexander Wolf now with a knee in the back of the head of Pete Dunn. I mean, this was a good thing for Wolf, I think. The sanity sort of died a death. It was a. It was a bit mad, really, Sanity dying to death, because I, I really thought Sanity could work pretty well on the main roster, but it wasn't to be the case. Um, but then just having Imperium to fall back onto, I think, was fantastic for him. And it suits him a lot more as well, I suppose. As Pete done now. Oh, lovely taking Wolf down. Tyler Bates slamming Eichner face first into the apron. Barthal's down. Seven going for the pin on Alexander Wolf. Not quite enough. Trent Seven now hooks it in for a big pile driver. Doesn't go for the pin though. Fabian Eichner busted open on the outside. Wolf now with a forearm, then into a leg lariat. There's the pin by Barthal, but uh, Tyler Bate was able to come across and break that one up. Uh, also tonight, then we're going to be seeing uh, Jazzy Gabe at the Alpha Female going one on one against Killer Kelly. And then in our main event, we will have a triple threat. We have got Walter. We have got Alistair Black. And we will have Ilja Dragonov. I'm probably butchering a lot of these names, but that's normal for me. I mean, what do you expect from me? Surely not quality. We're, we're, you surely haven't expected quality from me from a long time, surely. I can now... Taking bait down. Looking for that leg lariat, completely missed. Pete Dunn flattens down Barthal. This is a big opportunity here. Alexander Wolf makes his way back into the ring. He's too slow. Oh, still only a two count. Now, 
Marcel Barthel getting around back of Pete Dunn up. Beautiful taken down into the submission, but Dunn was able to roll it through straight away. Pete Dunn sending Alexander Wolf to the outside and just clubbing blows. Wow. Pete Dunn, such a brutal striker. Pete Dunn now with the strikes and a big forearm in the face as well. And British strong style pick up the victory in there. What's going to be an upset for the home fans in WXW? But it's a big win for British Strong Style. Um, I believe Mustache Mountain got knocked out of the Dusty Classic in the first round by the British Bulldogs. So they will be pretty happy with getting this point and getting a victory on the board. Imperium, I don't believe we've had in the Dusty Classic as of yet, but they are scheduled to be in there soon. But there we go, victory. And British Strong Style get the point. And we move on to match number two of the evening. I'll update the rankings while we've got the loading screens on. And here we go then, second match of the evening. We've got Jazzy Gabe at the Alpha Female up against the debuting killer, Kelly. Uh, Jazzy's had an interesting week last week. Um, she was up in a match against Sarah Logan, which she lost due to some skullduggery from the rest of the Riot Squad. Was then attacked with a chair after the match. However, she was able to get retribution after the match had finished um, by getting a cage match the next night and getting a victory. She did take some injuries into that match, which did slow her down quite a bit, but still, she was able to defeat Sarah Logan. So... The Alpha Female currently on zero ranking points to one loss and one win. And, of course, Killer Kelly here making her debut zero points. So let's see how well she can do. Of course, Alpha Female is German, so this is her home fans. Killer Kelly, I believe, from Portugal. Might be wrong there, but I believe she's from Portugal. Um, both these ladies have wrestled extensively for WXW over the last few years. So it's nice to see them both here. And of course, only one more match left for you this evening. And that will be our main event straight after this one. Triple Threat, Alistair Black, Walter and Il Zhezhraganov. It's going to be an absolutely incredible, incredible match in our main event. And the winner of that one will get an opportunity to fight for the number one contendership for the SWE Championship. So a potential opportunity at Chris Jericho on night number seven for the SWE Heavyweight Championship. And, of course, the winner of this one is in the same boat. The winner of this one will get an opportunity to fight for the number one contendership for the Women's Championship later on in the week uh, for a chance to face off, of course, against uh, Beth Phoenix, who's been an absolutely dominant SWE Women's Champion for us. Although a loss, uh, sorry, a draw here, double count out, would mean that neither of these two ladies will move on to that match. Um, and that may be the case here as Jazzy does make it back in the week. She's going to win this by count out. I mean, it's it's a dirty win, isn't it? But Jazzy gave it the alpha female, does pick up the victory and does get the point. Wow, okay. I mean, it wasn't the cleanest of victories. I mean, she just demolished Killer Kelly on the outside, leaving her to the point where she was not able to even get back up on her feet to get back in the ring before the time limit was completed. And there we go, victory then. For the alpha female, Jazzy Gabert, she will move on to later on in the week to fight for an opportunity to face off against Beth Phoenix for the SWA Women's Championship. Well then, Jazzy, she moves up to plus one in the rankings. Killer Kelly on her debut of a loss moves down to minus one. Right, main event time.
And here we go in the big main event of the evening. Triple threat. First pinfall of submission gets the victory. And this, of course, is for an opportunity to fight for the number one contendership for the SWE Championship. We're going to be having one of these big matches every night of our first five nights. And the winners of all those matches will join up in night number six in a fatal five-way elimination match. The winner will get Chris Jericho on night number seven for the SWE Championship. We're doing the same with the Women's Championship as well. So Jersey Gaber is the first one to get herself in that qualifier. But who will be the first male to join? Walter, the big strike in the face, now taking down Dragunov. Alistair Black now into a DDT. I mean, what has happened to Alistair Black? I think it's just a matter of time before Alistair Black is to leave um, WWE, isn't it? I mean, I would love... Alistair Black is one of my favourite wrestlers. I would love Alistair Black to be in AEW because AEW has got me back into watching Wrestling Weekly. Before AEW was around, I did not watch any wrestling at all, really. Um, I just read some of the results and kept track of it that way. But AEW, I'm now... Looking forward to watching it. I watch every episode of Dark. I'm going to be watching Dark Elevation um, tomorrow as well. Because I'm in the UK and I can't watch it live. Um, so I'm going to be watching all these sort of sh shows. And it's just... Uh, I love to see one of my favourite wrestlers on a show that I watch weekly. Walter and Dragunov, of course. These two guys had a magnificent match uh, within the past 12 months in NXT UK. Dragunov fighting back on Walter... Now cutting him down. Big Bad Walter's a nutter, isn't he? I mean, there's no better way of putting it. He's a nutter. Um, I don't believe Dragunov is actually on our rankings yet. This is his debut. It is. Uh, it's also Walter's debut. I think Alistair Black has wrestled before. Um, let's have a quick look. Yes, he has wrestled before and he lost that match. So if he was to lose here again, he'd be down to minus two, which is not great for him. But it is what it is in these sort of situations, I suppose. Running elbow in the face of Dragunov. And now Alistair Black with a strike taking Dragunov down. But he's straight back up on his feet. Black takes him back into the corner. Back to Black. Alistair Black now big German suplex on Dragunov. Walter just propped up in the corner just watching things happen. But... Alistair Black catches Walter as well, taking him down. Walter brought back up to his feet, and this is Walter's debut, I believe. Let's whiz down to the bottom. Yes, Walter hasn't wrestled yet. So only Alistair Black has wrestled so far in SWE this year. Big strike across the face there by Walter. Dragunov catches. Walter slams him face first into the mat. And Dragunov has got a good opportunity here, but he's just stood there staring down at his opponents as Alistair Black now starting to stir. Walter's back up at his feet and gets headbutted back down. Wow. That is brutal. Alistair Black now with a pin on Ilja Dragunov. Only a two count. Alistair Black is looking decent here. Boot in the gut and then gets a DDT on Dragunov. Black now catches Walter into the DDT. And Alistair Black now in control of the match. Both his opponents are grounded. Black again, they're just so slow. They don't seem to really take advantage of the situations that the Black finally does go in for the pin. Black now with a strike on to the spine of Walter Dragunov's back up the big chops and strikes. And Black now taking Walter down. It's almost like uh, Alistair Black and Dragunov knowing they need to keep Walter grounded and 
What on earth? What? 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 what, what? I don't know what that was there, to be honest. But either way, Ildra Dragunov stalking Alistair Black. But the massive clothesline flattens him down into the pin. Walters down on the outside. He does slide back of the ring. Will he get there in time to break it? He doesn't need to because Alistair Black kicks out on the two. Dragunov now. Gets shoulder blocked down to the ground by Walter. Walter brings Dragunov back up to his feet and... Dragunov slides free with a strike into the back of Walton and uppercut as well. Oh, it's still very, very close, but Dragunov only getting a two count on Walter. Brings Walter back up to a standing base and headbutt right in the face. Dragunov now taking down Alistair Black with a strike as well. And Dragunov just is a, is a big striker here. Headbutts and all sorts. He's really brutal. And it's the Black fighting back, though. And, oh, he hits it. The fade to Black. The Black Mass. There's the pin. One, two. Oh. Only a two count. And Alice the Black has to do a little bit of... A little bit of... Um, I've forgotten the word now. It doesn't matter. Let's just pretend it never happened. And Alice the Black now Meteora on Walter, who just stood back in the ring. Dragunov gets taken down by Alistair Black once again. A big boot right across the chest. And of course, Dragunov has been hit with that black mass already. Walter, though, back up to his feet, taking down Alistair Black, going into the pin. I'm not feeling there's much chance here. No, it's only a two count. I mean, Black probably could have kicked out a little bit earlier, but taking that extra second of energy... Walter now into the pin on Alistair Black. One, two, and oh, only a two count once again. It's so close. Dragunov now with a pin on Walter. Again, only a two count. This has been an incredible match so far, which is exactly what we were expecting. Nice takedown there by Dragunov on Walter once again into the pin. And Dragunov's got it. Ilja Dragunov gets the victory. He is moving on to face off against four other people on night number six to become the number one contender for the SWE Championship. Not a good night for Alistair Black and Walter. Walter suffers his first loss in his debut. Alistair Black, two losses in two matches now for him, which is unfortunate. Uh, where is Alistair Black? There he is. But Ildra Dragunov on his debut is victorious. Let me put him on the rankings. There he is. Dragunov. And there we go. Ildra Dragunov with a victory here in the main event of our WXW European Invasion. Well, that's the end of tonight's show. I hope you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, hit the like, subscribe, all the good stuff. And I will see you again next time tomorrow when we will be invading. ICW.